Okay, this is just a quick how-to on how to install the, the BIOS adapter. Um, in this case, we've got a cream board. Um, it does work for, for the green boards as well, so don't worry too much about that. I'm going to clip the BIOS resistors next to, so we're clipping them there. 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 Obviously be sure to catch that, I'll catch that out from uh, where it's dropped down onto the power board in a second. Be sure to, to pull those out of the amp. Then we're going to get a flat blade screwdriver. We're going to pull these leads upwards until they're vertical, very gently. Obviously before doing this you have to have made sure that the caps are discharged. You may want to, if you're uh, working on Blues Junior, you may want to replace the IC caps with uh, with a more reliable, um, more reliable part. Um, I like to use a cap adapter again, similar sort of thing to this, um, with uh, with some Rubicons. But uh, lots of people like to use F and T axials. So here's the adapter. It's got two service mount resistors here. Um, it can be done with three holes if you desire. It's got um, a trim pot there. They've all been cut flush on the back. This is going to slip onto those holes like this. There we go, like that. We'll push that down and then those wires will poke through. Before we do that, slip it off again. We need to put a little spot of RTV silicon on the back. Don't use too much. Um, you don't want it vibrating off, so you need to use it, but you don't want it to, to become a, a completely permanent fixture just in case for any reason. This something needs to be serviced and for any reason this needs to be removed, which is unlikely because after, uh, after the bias has been adjusted, the valves are less likely to die and less likely to cause damage to other components around. So we'll slide that back on again. Press it down nice and firmly. And then what I'll do next is I'll get the screwdriver again, press on hold it, and we'll bend these leads down onto the exposed conductive area. There we go. Straighten it out for the sake of appearances. And then finally, I'm going to obviously solder on all four of these four points here. Then we can use a different screwdriver, a small screwdriver, when we're doing the biasing. Use a smaller screwdriver to adjust it. And Depending on which way you like to uh, you like to do it, I, I like to use a novel adapter on the EL84 to uh, to measure in the cathode, um, measure the current coming through the cathode. Um, hotter bias is anti-clockwise in this particular, so you turn anti-clockwise to turn up the bias. Turn. So obviously we'll start by turning clockwise. Have the bias as low as possible when we start biasing it up, and then we'll increase it to uh, to the point where it's safe dissipation.